Alright, before we get started, we need a video check, mic check. Drew is not here. <laughs> we're not even sure we're on the internet. Do you not trust me? You're saying you don't trust me. How does this Jimmy T says here we go? How does this interwebs thing work? <laughs> I feel like you just stopped everything. I can hear back you, there. but I can't see you. I might have. I might have no, stopped see you. I can't hear you. Right. Oh my god. I hope you're kidding. Are you kidding? No, there's a delay. What's going on? Yeah, I know. Oh. He quit messing. Okay? <laughs> Drew's messing. Oh so, God, happy, Thursday. Yes. happy Thursday. Happy oh Thursday. Look at all the people in cheers, there. Cheers, Thursday. cheers, cheers. Cheers. Long week. Everybody. Everyone seems oh, to have the same awesome. sentiment that we just want to shoot this the week, week in the head. This week is bullshit. <laughs> this week is bullshit. <laughs> that is so true. Thank you, Tal. However, uh, we're fortunate enough to have Scotch to help us through. Mm. Yes, we are. One Amen. Tonight. So we got a lot to talk about tonight. We've got, uh, We've got a lot long list. To do. We do. But I want to start off by at least hollering out at, at uh, who all's already in the show. We've been on the Discord for the pre-show, hollering at Steve and Tom and Hoagie's Lee. in here. But uh, we got a lot We're of people online. So actually, yeah, We're Hogue, it's good have, to see you again. Cheers to that. Dying to know what you're sipping on. I saw you post something on Facebook that looked a little interesting. I'm sure everybody would love to hear about that too. So... Go on, name some of these folks off. Uh, we got everyone on here, Bud, Ahoy. of course, Drew Bills. Drew I haven't seen that guy on here before. before. What's he doing here? <laughs> <laughs> it's a new Tom beat. R's in the house. Yeah, R's good to see Tom. Who else we got? Team. Christopher David's in here. Bud's Tim. appreciating my... Uh, Scotch on the Bayou. Cheers, Lee. Bud, Cheers, Lee. Bud Trooper. is appreciating my video technology skills. Right. You Jimmy T. Much, of course, he did, he did tee it up for you. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Greg's in here. Good to see Greg. I saw John DeVoe as well. How you doing, John? It's good to see you, buddy. Jim Dietrich. Who else? Jimmy T. Trooper. Bob good H. See you. Bob H. is in. Wheelhouse Whiskey. Tr- Trooper Henry. That's what we're talking about, Wheelhouse Whiskey. The, uh... The, today's episode is brought to you by you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, yeah. We're going to get into that. Hey, so, it's flying. You know, the yeah, question is, is, Wheelhouse Whiskey, now that we're getting, we've reviewed this and we're talking about how are you going to sign your comments and, and everything? Because he always signs off. I know, he's going to have to change it up now, right? <laughs> right? I feel like we should sign it as something and then send him something. Right? Right. I like your thought. There That's you a good idea. Not the CBS bottle, though. We're saving that for Come something How you special. doing, Zach Andrews? That's special. That's special something. All right. All right, so Scott's Matt's got a Canada. bottle of Glendronic 12 Scott. in the kill zone. Wounded zebra. Uh-oh. Put it I got, down. I got the blood in the water, one. boys. Yeah. Put it down. <laughs> I got a new one the other day. Fresh one. Yeah. Scotch I turned somebody Comic on says, yo, today. boys, what's going on, Scotch Comic? Cheers, man. Yeah, yeah thanks, we thanks saw it, bud. Vid. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the uh, visual there, bud. So thanks I did want to shout out to, to Eric uh, Waite, who said he wouldn't be on the live show because he's on a plane on his way to Texas for uh, some kind of whiskey tasting event. So we could... call bull on that, but apparently uh, it's a thing. So. Good for him. He's, he's, probably, he's probably a right. guest of um, Whiskey Vault or something. He was actually stressed out. I guess he's not a good flyer. I'm like, dude, yeah, you just need to order a flying. double. Get it neat. You'll be fine. <laughs> I saw an article that they were talking about banning alcohol on planes. Excuse me? I mean, I can't even smoke on there now, right? <laughs> I don't have to sneak in the bathroom to drink. You going to put a detector in there? Uh-oh. An alcohol detector? <laughs> we're going to need to check your colostomy bag. Right. It's a real colostomy <laughs> bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take a sip. Oh, jeez. Uh, Take a sip. How's the Rothus 18 mm. holding up? So we're going to find out. We're going to pour it here. Uh, what did we warm up with? A little secret surprise, actually. Something that yeah. we want to reveal later. Yeah, sure. Um, we so, should we talk about last week while we're pulling that up? Yeah, let's just get... Well, no. we can at least talk about some of the whiskeys. No. Right. 
It's a long story, guys. Are we, you ready for it? We had a Chicago. we had a busy Chicago week. Chicago. We, we, we went to the Windy City. We we lined up a lot of cool stuff for you guys, dude. Let me tell wow. you, they took uh, a lot of videos. Hopefully, those come out good. Talk that's to up a lot to Drew. <laughs> Um, he's trying to train they, the they let us work the table at Old Pulteney during Whiskey Fest so you believe yeah that? <laughs> we were selling Old Pulteney and Spaber. we and were we pouring were at Whiskey Fest for Steph Ridgeway and it was a blast because the funny thing was we were working at the last half hour 45 minutes of the show we were the only table with people around it and people you know, were the, coming. We were all, all, all the bourbons and whiskeys were the, all all the uh, all dying down. Were like oh, they, the people had left the bar. They were just sitting there, standing there, generally by the table where we are. We were working so, it. We and were loud. Too. It was good timing because Steph had lost her voice. Yeah. She was yeah. done. She was tapped out. She couldn't talk anymore, and yeah. we just kind of took over. They and threw it up the S for D signal, and exactly, it was pretty it was fun. Good. We had a good time, but. Uh, we, we picked up some booze while we were in Chicago, we with some special bottles. This one, we're not going to get a review on. Uh, this was a bottle that we got from Warehouse Liquors. Uh, this was one of Gene's picks. So he bought a cask of Old Pulteney. What are you doing? Drew took over. Apparently <laughs> he's doing something wrong. Of course he did. He doesn't like the, he doesn't like the he's lighting. He's doing that I from I told his phone. you too, right? <laughs> so this is a 2004 OP, uh, 13-year-old. Bottled at 55.2%. Uh, this is bottle 213 of 246. So, so Gene owns Warehouse Liquors. Um, it's downtown. a one-of-a-kind store downtown. It's not a franchise or anything. It's a pretty eclectic liquor store. I mean, he's got, wow. he's got quite a lot of stuff. Selection. And he's got, I don't know, how many years of experience in the industry. I mean, he's 40. been right, 40 he's plus. crazy stuff in Scotland, um, too. Steph Ridgeway had lined us up uh, an interview with him, so we went into his store and had an hour of his time. We set up some cameras. Don't know how that's going to turn out. I'm sure Drew's taking a look at it. I think that'll be a patron video. It was a really cool interview. We sampled all, he poured all kinds of stuff for us and walked us through it, to include a yeah. couple of... Uh, I mean, we had scotches, we had some rye, new make. whiskeys. We had yeah. new, he poured we some had new, new make. make from two different distilleries. Um, uh, we had a lot of fun. Good time. Good. Yeah. But then we decided uh, this was this bottle that he picked. It, it's it's a it's a gem, and so he had a couple bottles left, and we actually wanted to bring one home because it's worth worth drinking. So this yep. is what we decided to warm up with tonight. So we actually bought two bottles at the store. You want to pull we that did. white bottle out? Oh, oh yes. Oh yeah, we did pick up another bottle at Warehouse Liquors too. This is going to be a hard find for people. But we got one. We got one of those to review. Don't so know if you guys know what that is, but so, compass box. So yeah, it's a compass box, stranger and stranger. But um, let me read to you what it says uh, on the bottle because I really find it interesting. If you guys don't know the story about this bottle, it's actually not technically uh, by law a Scotch. Right. Yep. It's not a Scotch because it is Scotch malt whiskey blended with one percent. Non Scotch whiskey. <laughs> Is that a John Glazier? And it's move like or aged what? Scotch whiskey. <laughs> yeah, oh, I mean, good. it's What's a up? total John Glazier move. He put one percent two year old grain whiskey in, right? Just, yeah, because it was it was Gerben, right? Yeah, just to yeah. snub his nose. I mean, it just cracks me up that he does this kind of stuff. But super stoked about sampling. It this It feels one. like something we would do, right? I mean, <laughs> just to be kind of a jerk about it. <laughs> And so just, the whole story behind just, this, just we'll get to it when we review it, but Stranger and Stranger is actually the company that does their marketing and, and, and creates their labels. So this is kind of a tribute to them in their 10-year um, anniversary with them. So a pretty cool bottle yep. to, yeah. to snatch, which, okay. talking about Compass Box, we did run into Pete uh, Friol, Friolo, if Friolo, I can pronounce, yeah, his, pronounce his last name right, uh, at Whiskey Fest. We had him on the show God, it seems like 18 ago. months ago or so, yeah, and a... he had shared some no-name with us. Mm -hmm. Yep. We ran into him at Whiskey Fest. First time we actually met him in person. Had a blast with the guy. He I don't was know if we can awesome. talk about the other thing. Um, no, nah, <laughs> nah, we'll, we've got some surprises coming oh, yeah, from yeah, Pete, yeah. but it was good to, to rekindle that relationship because we had never met him in person. Um, we hung out with him at Delilah's and had a couple of drinks. Yep. Uh, for a while. And he's excited about coming back on the show. Got some surprises up his sleeve. I, there's, we also hit awesome. up Ben at SMWS and we tried did. the outturns for uh, for this month. So that was really cool. And if you're an SMWS member, there's some damn good whiskeys yep. this month. <laughs> Jump on Discord and we'll talk to you about it after right. the show. It, it was really, really fun. So 
basically we just hopped from drinking establishment to drinking establishment, we sampling everybody's stuff. We did Benny's uh, on Thursday night. That was awesome. We got to try a bunch of stuff. We made some really good connections. We're going to be doing some reviews from some people that we talked to there um, and have some people Let's coming on the show. Let's talk about Benny's. That's the first time we've ever been to that, that event. 147 different tables. That was a lot. That's yeah. a lot. That place was 70 bucks. Jamming. Yeah. We, we couldn't hit all the scotch table, let alone the bourbons, the Americans, the, you know, whatever. Yeah, there was... You want to pull up what we bought that night? We so, bought a couple oh, bottles yeah, that night. There. So, and these ones we can't get, some of these we can't even get. This one I know we can't get. Oh, yeah. Talk about this one. You pulled this yeah. one out of your Yeah, uh, so I don't know if you guys have tried anything from the Lost Distillery uh, Company, but um, their basic gist is they they examine distilleries that are, are closed, have been closed, most of them are demolished, and they try and figure out what their flavor profile would have been of those whiskeys at yeah. the time that they were being distilled. Based on the water, based on the region, based on the right. kind of grains they were using, the yeast, everything. And so they they blend uh, single malts to replicate the flavors of those those distilleries that are gone. So uh, we picked up the Lossett, um, which is, I believe it's a Highland, right? Uh, I think that was an Islander. Wasn't it? No. Okay. I don't remember. Uh, Let's see. Hey, Haywood. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is an Isla. SMWS okay. Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. So, anyway, we're, uh, we're nice going to review that one. <laughs> we also picked up uh, the 10A from Spay, and we actually got to talk to the distillery manager, Patricia, mm -hmm. who was super, super cool. Oh, she's and actually, holy if, cow. So, if we get our trip put together to Scotland, was she graciously, yeah, mm -hmm. she graciously oh. invited us to come to the distillery, and which is closed to the public. It's not open to the public, and, she invited and us. she invited us specifically, and, and whoever's coming with us to come, they would give us a tour. This particular distillery is not very well known in the U.S., but it's the Third largest seller in in uh, I mean, India or something. In, yeah, India. In, 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 it's a growing. It's like, growing. Yeah, the, yeah. In Asia, they're huge. Asia, they're, they're huge. They're not here. In they ju this was the last market that they wanted to hit. Yeah. So they're just starting to roll out in the U.S., but uh, they're big in every place else. Basically. We reviewed one, the Fumare. Yeah. Yeah. And it got a three five out of four from us, folks. So it's. No they're, joke. They're yeah. making good whiskey. The 18 was delicious. Yeah, and yeah. the thing is, again, these are bottles we bought. We, they weren't gifts. They weren't. They didn't even come to us. We just said, hey, what's yeah, this? These are the ones that we actually wow, paid for. We wanted to bring home. So, But I believe we are going to get somebody on from the distillery to talk to us, to us about, the their, about this is, their whiskeys. So, you know, these are not. These are $55 whiskey. Look at this. They're all, like, wrapped in paper. With nice cool packaging. bottles. They, nice bottles tin. are nice. They, and the and the liquid's good too. The liquid, right? Obviously, the Fumari. I mean, yeah. Oh, Patricia was really cool. I, I really yeah, want to cross paths nice. with hers again. Yeah. You really had to lean in and listen to her because she had that oh. strong. <laughs> she, had pretty, she had a fairly strong Scottish. Yeah, yeah, she was really cool. <laughs> exactly, yeah. it made the whiskey taste even better. Right? Yeah. You're like, poor man, not Are we there? And then uh, what else did we get back there? Well, I this one came from. This is, well, we was this Bob's? That's no, a, we bought that one. No. No, but I think Bob bought Bob that. Oh, H. no, Bob did bought that. Bob, Bob H. graciously bought us. Bob showed up at Chicago, by the yeah, way, everybody. Bob came out to Chicago. Did, you know. He actually had a business trip, but he kind of worked in being able to stay you know, an evening and check out Benny's with us. So uh, on our way out of Benny's, cool. which is a huge liquor store, that was one of the things cool about the event. You had 147 tables to hit, and on your way out, you could hit the liquor store and buy whatever you want. I mean, yep. They so, had almost everything that they were putting uh, pretty close. This guy right here that Bob bought, I sampled it at, at, at the table. And I walked away going, man, it just tastes like a, a stick of Juicy Fruit. That's all I remember from Juicy it. Fruit gum. <laughs> Juicy Fruit Gum. So I'm excited about cracking into this guy someday. It was really good. So I'm, I'm excited to do that one. Super stoked about it. Um, there was one other bottle that came home as a gift like that uh, from Tom. And Tom picked this one up. I think he grabbed this at Warehouse. He did get it at yeah. Warehouse. Yep. He did grab it at Warehouse. So I had mentioned a couple weeks ago, um, I don't know if it was on Discord or what, but I had mentioned that I really wanted to start getting into spring banks. And uh, Tom said, what do you mean? You don't have a spring bank? I don't. <laughs> and so he said, that's going to change. And it did. So Tom made sure to send us home with a, this is the spring bank 12 cast strength um, bourbon sherry finish, I believe. Uh, 
he he asked us to crack it open. This, so pre show we, we, we got we the neck pour. We got the neck pour out of the right way. Here, man. We're it's gonna like, we're yeah, gonna let this guy air out, out and we're gonna get on a review on it. But Tom, thank you very much. Bob, thank Leather. you very much for sending us home with a bottle yeah, of scotch. You know I was busting out. your chops yeah. that you didn't bring any from New York. Best <laughs> right. socks, more leather now. It's really so, nice. but that wasn't all we ended up with. <laughs> oh, we we got go Anox, off. we got old Pulteney's, we got uh, a few of the Ball Blairs. Not the new lineup, but that'll be coming. Yes, uh, we'll talk about that. Yeah. So, what else did we get? I picked up a bottle at Warehouse. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Not for review, but just for uh, no, consumption. It's just for fun. Yeah, it's not a reviewable type bottle. It's a Caden Heads. It's a, a ten-year-old uh, Colila Caden Head oh, that um, that's good. I thought sounded Let's interesting. All right. <laughs> If that's what you want to get no, into right next, 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 I mean, we got, we got to get in the gun and this. So anyway, uh, Chicago was great. We had a great time. Got to meet a lot of people. A lot of fun stuff going on. We'll definitely be going back next year. It was it was too much fun to miss out on. Yep. So yeah. wait a minute. I want to finish that conversation up, but I did see Scotch Comic. You guys go. He's got a question out there. He or she don't know. Um, Fifty to sixty. Best readily available Isla Scotch. $50 Art Bag 10. Art Bag 10. Yeah. Ooh, wow. <laughs> so you got going. two Art Bag 10s. I want to see yeah. what everybody else has to say. 50 to 60 bucks is probably Art Bag 10. <laughs> I'm yeah, trying I mean, to think. So oh, the Fork 10 is close to that range, but it just doesn't not have as the good. sweetness. It doesn't have the sweetness that, that Art yeah. Bag 10 has. So, um, and depending on what, I guess, what part of the country, you can get like Lagoon 16 for yeah, that's 65, a good point. 70. That that would be better if you can get it from that price. I, I don't know. You should get plenty of responses here from the folks that are online because uh, everybody's got an opinion yeah. on that one. Uh, I, I see a ton of hard things out here. What about what about like a uh, Brooklady? We, we can't ignore them because some of the, I don't know what their price range is. Speaking right of Brooklady, so I have a guy come into the restaurant yesterday, and I'll uh, get to you, throttle. He's a he's a Scotch salesperson, mm-hmm. right? And he's like, I, I'm I'm tasting. You guys on Scotch today? I don't know if you've ever heard of Brooklotti before. Oh no! Tell me oh, about really? It. Tell me all about it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> how do you pronounce? How do you spell yes, it? Right? <laughs> do you pronounce it right? Or do so you he Brooke pulled out. Lottie. He, he pulled, pulled out the classic Lottie. I love it. And uh, the Port Charlotte it. and an yep. Octomore Seven One. Ooh, nice. And I was like, yeah. huh. Well, why don't you taste me through all these? Yeah, real what's quick. the Octomore? What, what's that? What's Pete what is it? Fano? This is a, this is a cool let me go get. Let me Fano? go get one of these glasses. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it, dude. I got this. Uh, <laughs> you want ice or something? No, negative. Really? <laughs> Thanks, uh, comic. Uh, so, whiskey throttle asked why that Caden head isn't reviewable. Oh, wow. It's it is reviewable, but I just hate to review scotch that re- is not readily available for people. And, and it's you know it's a independent bottler. You may be able to find it, and if if you can and you want to talk about it, that's great. But we've kind of we've decided to do them either on the live show or yeah. You know. I mean some of yeah so some of these maybe it's since it's Coalila you, we could talk about kind of the age. So this would be representative of, of a Coalila, but it's not the brand. You know right. Like so I mean that the, some of like your SMWSs. Just, we're not going to review them per se in, on a Monday release. We'll do it on a live show. We'll pour one, talk talk our way through it. I'm not going to officially score it or anything just because they're not typical bottles or, or uh, bottles that are on shelves readily. You know what I mean? I give it the thumbs up or thumbs down. Right. Yeah. Right. right. I wish I had two more thumbs. <laughs> Off of the head. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, anyway, so is that all? What else no. about Chicago before we wrap it up? We made... A ton of contacts. I mean, honestly, we really re solidified some relationships that we've had in the past. I mean, we got a chance to hang out with Dan Crowell with Glenn Ranji. Um, Who's met, the, nas- the new national? Yeah, he's got promoted to, Glenn you know, Mo. he's Glenn Moe's top guy here in the States now. And I don't know if you guys have ever met him and if you've had a chance or hit. He's awesome to hang that, out. That presentation was Oh, so tell about that. That was great. The, the dude absolute. knows whiskey. He knows, like, everything from germination, from the grain. Was just like Wonderful, astonished, and he's so excited about it, yeah, passionate. He's like, so he's very really passionate. cool. We we met the new Art Bag yeah. National yeah. Ambassador Cameron. Cameron. Cameron, super cool guy. He's <laughs> going to be on the show. Yeah, uh, apparently he's a longtime fan. He was uh, super excited to meet. I'm us. excited to have him on the show. He's just got Dude, a lot is. of energy, man. Oh man, yeah, he's just like excited. He loves it. Good stuff uh, going. We there. hit up uh, the Deanston table, talked to those guys for a bit. So yeah. that was really cool. Um, 
We talked to the people from Glendronic and Ben Riek. Oh, we yeah. did. We've got, we got some stuff going on with them. Boy, that, uh, that would be Tamdu a and Glenn Goyne. We talked to those yeah. guys. Stoked about that. Uh, so we're going to have some people on from them. So And I, I believe we've got a uh, flight of Tamdu coming up, right? We're doing that? Yeah, what that's you, that's coming by a way of someone through New no, York. Fifth? No, no fifth, but... I think. I don't know. We'll have to see when it shows up, but we're going to be doing one through four batch strength tam dues. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> winner, but, winner, chicken dinner. And, and last but not least, out of Chicago, we got to hang out with Steph Ridgeway for a couple of days. Yeah. That was priceless. That was oh. such a great experience. I mean, oh yeah, we got to talk about that in a yeah. second. So, hi, Alan. But hanging out with Steph, she's she's a pro. She's, she's awesome, awesome at what awesome, she does. Awesome. She is uh, on her game. She knows everybody, um, knows her whiskeys inside and out, can yeah. talk you through them. Fun to hang out with. Um, we just owe her a debt of gratitude just, just to hang out with us and, and let us take over her table for, a couple, what, 30 minutes? I wouldn't have so. let us take over her table. <laughs> she, well, she Not couldn't even talk, night, right? At least. <laughs> but we yeah. had an absolute blast hanging out with her. Cannot wait to get uh, get some more things. And we do have more things yep. uh, in cool. the pipe with her. But um, Chicago was an, an ultimate. I would do Benny's again in a heartbeat. Yep. No, without question. Yep. Um, for the price, for the yeah. selection. There's nothing else out there. The people. Yep. Yeah. I mean, they the food, they, they kept big, huge trays of bread and water were, were flying around everywhere. I mean, it did get crowded in there, but there was Not, 147 tables. I mean, it wasn't so crowded you couldn't move no, around and get to right. the next table. That's you know, true. So we were, you know, halfway through the night, we're sitting at the um, the spay table, and we had a 10-minute conversation and there were people coming and going a little bit, but it was not like people b- bound over you. And the beauty of Benny's is the tables are less expensive, so you get a better selection of, of whiskey uh, people. So, you know, like uh, La Lost Distillery, um, Spay, they couldn't afford a table at Whiskey Fest, so they were at Benny's. And, so and we they were great. Them. Yeah, well, there was about twice as many tables at Benny's as there was at Whiskey yeah. Fest. Yeah. The whiskey Fest, mm-hmm. is, it, it, you get, the, I mean, the, the, the stuff they have is great. The... Distributors and the distillers they have there are great, but it's a fairly select crew. I mean, you got to have a big brand to be able to afford a table there. Yeah. So you do get you get the big brand. You get Black and you get Jack Daniels. You get right um, Lafroy. You get all the you know Diageo. You get Doers. You get you know all the all the big brands. People that have money, not necessarily people that you want to taste. Well, I mean, were you excited about the Doers table? I didn't go to the Doers table. <laughs> I'll what, tell you, you what, know, though. One interesting thing about the Doers table. They were making. They they know they're a mixer, and so so half they of their making, half of their table mix, was drink. making mixers with doers. Perfect. That's what you use it for. You're not trying to make a sipper out of doers white. That's just it's not what it's for. They are on an airplane, and so they so they know what to do with it. I mean, that's that's right. the beauty of they, they admit they're what they're they're for. Speaking like of that. mixing scotches, well, hang on, I'm looking for a picture. What? Oh yeah, check. How did you take that picture, yeah, Everwin? E- Everwin. So on the Discord server, everyone was taking pictures with our coins at the launch assembly building. Oh, and oh man, right. really? Yes. Yeah, so out. I totally missed that. Like, I haven't even gotten like, on Discord. Like this looking week. out the window at the launch pad with a coin there, like at the top, the fifty-story door, the yeah, forty-one-story doors. Yeah, you're saying the pictures don't do it justice. I mean, it's just, just insane. It's the largest building in the world. I mean, it's just well, the largest doors anywhere. They're like forty stories tall. And their doors. doors. Ah, that's bad. He, he's been, yeah. Our picture, our coins have also made it back over the pond. Yes. They're yeah. getting the new ones. Are getting some. Uh, man, he, I'm, I'm jealous of him and his trips to yeah, Scotland. Yeah, he makes a lot of Cap Dwayne. How do you pronounce yeah, it? Yeah, Dwayne. On, on Instagram, he's on Instagram. So. Yeah, he's on Instagram and Facebook and. Mm-hmm. Um, so yes, everyone saw the pictures. Awesome. <laughs> Those pictures. I mean, they're awesome. So I'm a bit of a nerd and. Those pictures would be. I would love to be there. Right. Yeah. I would love to watch. A You're launch. there in spirit. You mailed so, in the coins. I did. We, <laughs> but we, I love uh, being there to watch a launch. I just can't imagine feeling that thunder as those rockets go up. We we need to we need to talk about some other stuff, but let's get into this guy. Let's do this. Let's talk about let's, let's talk right about now. this Glen Rose 18. So I've got it poured. It's been airing out for it for help, a minute. The airing helps actually. It feels kind of a weak first pour, but as it sits there and kind of matures. It's much better. It really is, and I don't think our review really gave it that much, that much justice. Four, four. 
<laughs> I was pouring. Go ahead and pour it in your glass. <laughs> See, after it's been pour, if your it's been man, sitting man. here and, and airing yeah. out, I, I, I honestly think the nose is a little more earthy than when I first poured it. That's super sweet. I mean, it is it is sweet, which is okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it does have a little bit of a, a twist on the nose, though. I'm trying to think what that is. I I enjoyed this glass. I, I think that they were right to do a relaunch of their brand. I, yes, I think they that they were. needed it. Um, they needed to kind of get back to their roots a little bit because they had kind of gotten a little disjointed, if you will. We're but uh, ABV. What Maybe. was the price tag on this thing? Uh, that's a good question. Buck Fifty. It's not cheap. It's, it's forty-three. Something like that's that. about dead, man. Woo. Yeah, she ain't gonna make it tonight. Got her wounded. Down goes the freaking w- cannonball. Wounded zebra. <laughs> wounded zebra. <laughs> hmm. It is. It is a rounded scotch. It's. It's. I mean, there's no hard edge to it at all. There's, no. And at forty-three smooth, percent, there's, right? There's no. There's no alcohol edge either. So it. It is definitely. It feels it, like they just. Soft. Should have. Yeah, they should have bottled it at like forty-six or forty-eight, and they. It would have been a whole different deal, I think. But. Or if they hit it at forty-eight. You know, right. Because it just feels like it's just a little bit. Light. Yeah. Like Is over it, water. They had to charge another it is like 20% for it, though, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Then put it well above 150, which puts it pretty high. I actually, I mean, I think it's pleasant. It is a very Well, I think it'd be pretty damn good if I, it, it came in at 48. It would be even more pleasant. You bring it in at 48%, and I might, <laughs> I right. might bend over back now, for a while. Now, we're talking, now we're talking a little bit different. Right. Deal. A lot of lose in the house as well. Is she really? Yeah. Oh, he's still here. What? Wait a minute. Cheers, man. How did we start talking about Abunad? Where? Hoagie brought it up. Of course Hoagie did. That's a Hoagie topic. Oh, uh, so he wants us to hit the Rothas 18 with some Young Sherry Cast Strength by Teapot Dram and Abunad. Uh, Abunad. So you want me to pour a little bit of the Teapot Dram in with this Glen Rothas? That ain't uh, happening. <laughs> <time. laughs> Maybe if I had a couple more bottles of that Spice teapot. <laughs> I, I'll pour a little bit of the teapot into my glass. There won't be anything else in the glass. No, you don't share that That's glass. That's pretty good. Nope, 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 nope. Lana, you miss Chicago. You need to come up next year. It yes. was a blast. Yes, we will um, definitely do uh, Biddy's again. That was yeah, yeah. It was we'll, we'll it was making it back up there. And you know again. what? Uh, to be honest, we've we've done several whiskey expos in different cities. That was by far the most economical. I mean, bang for the buck. Yeah, bang for the value. And, and it's up from last year. So it was $75 per ticket mm-hmm. for three hours of whiskey. There was no VIP or anything like that. It was all the same. Here yep. it is. But you had, you know, such a But big they were selection. pouring a ton of stuff. And I mean, I, there's a lot of times you go to those liquor store tastings and it's like, you know, I mean, it's the local distributor, right? It's it's a couple of employees. It's not anybody that you really want to talk to. You get to taste the whiskeys, but Benny's wasn't that. I mean, it was no. national ambassadors. And you know it why? Was distillers. It was you know the, the whiskey people you fest want to talk to because it's the next night. Five thousand dollars for for them to be a table per to, table. to, to a per table at Whiskey Fest. You know how much it cost me at Benny's? Zero. Nothing. Nothing. Really? Yep. Yes. I didn't know it was free. Yeah. So that's why a lot of people that were at Benny's the night before weren't at Whiskey yeah. Fest. So Why? Because it's almost the same crowd. Well, it's probably a bigger crowd. It, it definitely was. Oh, it was honestly, Whiskey Fest wasn't as crowded. Yeah, no, Benny's outshined it by a long shot. So yeah. the, the weird thing was, but you know, like you were saying, they're not just nobody. So we at the at the one end of the of the um, in the last room next to each other was Sam Felmus with uh, Impex. He's a keeper of the quake. Ed Cole was there. He's a keeper of the quake. Yeah. I mean, these aren't. These are yeah. these are nobody. Right. These are the some of the best. And they weren't at whiskey the fest the next nope. night. <laughs> no, nope. they, they weren't there the next night. So I That's mean, it was thing. it was really cool to sit and talk to these guys. And everybody's. I mean, I've been at whiskey fests that you you couldn't get to the front of the line to talk to anybody. And even when you did, they didn't have time to talk to you. The, everybody was really approachable at Benny's. I mean, they did a really nice job, of kind of moving people through. That's we had a, time to sit and talk to people and, and get to know them a little bit. It was it was fun. I mean, that's the beauty of having 147 tables. Right. You, it's so spread out. I think Bob will be bringing KB next year. Well, I think so, I too. Hope so. I, hope yeah. so. I, I hope we bring a bunch of people. 
Lana's coming next year. I already know. Yeah, yeah. Bud Scotch on the Bayou. Join Scotch on the Bayou yeah, up here. Yeah, I can. Better, Bud. Okay. <laughs> Getting into Chicago is a piece of cake, man. That's right. <laughs> yeah. We can request a surviving ranch the form. weekends. Another story, Bud. <laughs> we'll come pick you up. Hey, Alan. Maybe Alan will come up for it. I mean, yeah. Alan, you know what? You bring up far. Alan. What's going on with Alan? We're gonna go meet Alan next week. In a week. Next weekend. Jealous. In a week. Going down to uh, hit the. Urban Trail. Urban Trail. All right, let's do, do bourbon, this. Right? I'm, 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 right? It's whiskey, and I'm excited to go uh, get some of these distillery tours and see how they do it. Yep. I mean, it, it's it's the same process. I, I mean, yep. and it's not like they're lightweights. They've been around for a long time doing it too. So I mean, there's a lot to learn and they, um, and chance to get to hang out with Alan. He's been with us for three plus years, yeah. you know. So I'm, I'm excited to meet him. I like to think of them as producing uh, seasoned pre-scotch barrels. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> without them, we couldn't get this wonderful thing right. we call scotch. That's true. This is our first introduction to Alan. Right? That was pretty good. Uh, Alan. Pretty good deal. It was just yeah, a wee bit of poor right. Alan. But I, oh, I'm really excited gosh. about having you take us around, because well, yeah, you obviously know of, where to go and what to do. Yeah, the, I mean, the beauty of the bourbon trail is they know how to make whiskey with heat. I mean, so, so that heat... Changes the barrel aging completely. Yeah, it's, a, it's right. a different. It's a different experience. The way they do it, it has to be different. Cause it's so much hotter, so much drier, and it just powers into that cask. And yeah, I mean, two to three times faster than it's in Scotland. <laughs> Tom, yeah, we put our heart on Fountainhead's forty percent off. Tom, Drew, and I went there on Wednesday night to Fountainhead. It's a bar there in yeah. Chicago. Forty percent off all their whiskeys. Yeah, I still have to throw up a sixty plus dollar tab just for me. <laughs> but I mean that I think I was drinking all twenty five year old scotches. Damn right. You it were. was fun. It was That's a good nice. time. Um You didn't yeah, just have them leave the bottle? They bring the bottle to your table, I know. but I don't think they they really want you, you know, pouring top, your top in your glass bag. I don't like anybody pouring to my own whiskey. Just leave the bottle here. I got you. <laughs> you guys poor weak. Exactly. You guys don't have you met Sean? Let me show you how Sean pours. <laughs> That's how that restaurant we went to was. Well, that was a whiskey vault, though. That yeah, was that was, was, that was Steph's really, bottle. Yeah, that was so such an awesome. I, I, we went to dinner with Steph on, I guess, it was Thursday, Thursday night. night, and the the restaurant that we went to is a whiskey vault restaurant, and sh, and Steph has whiskey in her vault there. So when you go, you get seated at your table, and they bring you your whiskeys out of your vault, and you free pour them because they're yours. You purchase the You're bottles; right. they're already yours. So. It Did was she drew. It was really fun. Up as Dean's twenty minute back on the bar. We don't know what, what? you're talking about. <laughs> Since you brought it up, I think we should I have a dram. Hell yeah! Uh, I don't know. Let's kill this baby. It's almost dead. I'm like, that's yeah, wounded. that's a wounded. You seen John wounded. Wick, right? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Drew, it, I hope you've got another bottle because this is not gonna make tonight. This thing, I mean, this is. That's uh, sad. Tired. This thing needs to be put to rest. It's tired and weak. Who wants it? It's probably got uh, travel shock anyway. Yeah, you know, you don't want to drink that. You pour it, and all of a sudden the show goes dead. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, well, he's already been in twice, changing the color. I'm like, of course he is. Hey, ho, he it's great to time. see you, man. Actually, I might have a dram or two to pour a, a, and send your way some stuff that I know you haven't had. So good to see stay you, stay tuned, brother. Um, anyway, back to Alan. We uh, we've got the itinerary. We yep. we'll we'll be down. We're in ready to go. A week from tomorrow is yep. Yeah, a week yep. from tomorrow, we'll be heading south to see you, hoping for good weather, but we're going to have a great time anyway. Closure. Drew, um, Drew's not too happy with us. I kill <laughs> you. <laughs> Sick night bot on him. Do you know how to do that? Oh. No. <laughs> He's going to get in and stop me from doing hey, it. Hey, <laughs> you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on this spring bank, spring bank for a second. So this is that spring bank that Tom got. It's opened it, up a lot. I think it still has a unique smell to yeah. it, and its nose is definitely different. Hey, Christopher. Oh. Do you guys decide on a distillery yet? You know, that's a great topic. Let's talk about that. Where are we? No All closer right. than we were yesterday, but... But we're... We're not, we're not horrible. Cheers. Cheers, Christopher. Thank you for Thank the you, uh, super chat. All right, so here's, here's where we are on the single casking. Um... Because we don't live in Scotland, it makes it a little more difficult. Much more difficult. Uh, I am waiting on word back on a cask of OP um, that we could possibly get. I haven't heard in about a week. Because OP is changing their lineup, 
Uh, they're being a little stingy with their barrels, uh, just in case they need them. Apparently, yeah. Uh, which is which is all right. Uh, so we're we're exploring some other options. Uh, we talked to a couple of people who are actually importers who may be able to help us. Uh, so we're discussing with them what steps we need to take to uh, move it forward. So hopefully, if we can work with an actual importer that doesn't really care which distillery we're getting it from, they're just facilitating bringing it into the country for us. That opens up a lot more possibilities right. for us to purchase barrels from whoever, uh, which you know would be would be great. I guess the the, the short answer is is we haven't given up on it, but no. at the end of the day, we're not going to pull the trigger on a cask just to buy a cask. Right, right? it's we could have already done that. Yeah, I, I, we could have, but if we want to make sure we're getting one that's a, a home run. Actually, if you don't believe us, we let Bob taste. Uh, that's true. The uh, yeah. the two ball blares oh, that we yeah. had, and he had the same opinion that we did. That they're you know, pretty good, the, but they're just not. Quite the good. one is is good, but not spectacular. It's not and, worth. And we don't want to buy something that's not you know up to our standards. Yeah. And I, I think it was good, but I don't know that. I, for our first cask, I want it to be something cool. I want and it to be something really good and special. I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to need so much and, of your guys' help. We don't want you to end up with a bottle going, I pitched in on this. No, exactly. <laughs> and and because we've, we've had so many SMWS single casts and independent bottling single casts that have been amazing bottles. Exactly. And, and in that price range that we want to hit, we know that they're out there. You know, we know it can be done. So can we get our hands on? It? We're going to take our time a little bit and just make sure we pick a good cask that everybody's going to be excited about. And if it goes well, then we can buy some more. Uh, but we don't want to come out of the gate guns blazing and find out that you know. Yeah, exactly. We don't. Yeah, you're right. So we'll we'll get there. It'll be cool. Uh, Tough wanna, question, Scott. Do, do you want to do the thing now? I don't know. I mean, we still have a few minutes. Let's we, we can Scotch finish up. Yeah, you do have a couple of things to talk on Scotch in the news. That's for All sure. All right. So give me a second. While he's doing that, I tried Smoky Monkey this week. Yeah. So I, I, yeah. That. Tell me about. It. So <laughs> this guy comes shows takes us a picture of Smoky Monkey. I, like what the what? I have been a complete jackass to my distributor for at least a year. Ever since I heard that there was a Smoky Monkey, I've been like, why don't we have this in the states yet? And <laughs> like it's his fault, right? And, and not like every once in a while, like, I don't know, every three weeks or so, I'm texting the dude going, is it is it in, yet, in States yet? What's the problem here? And uh, every time he's like, I, I don't even know what you're talking about, really. And so well, he's, I've annoyed him enough that he's gone up the chain and up the chain and up the chain that this week he texted me first thing in the morning. It was like 7 o'clock in the morning. He's like, hey, Sean, are you at work today? Yep, I'm here. All right, I'm going to be stopping by in about an hour with somebody who had to, <laughs> they had to requisition a bottle of this from the distributor in the UK because they don't even sell Smoky Monkey in the UK. You can only get it on premise at bars in the U- UK. That's, uh. that's it. So this lady had been in, uh, in London and she requisitioned a bottle from the distributor just for herself to bring it back. Right, Man. so she comes in and and she deals with a lot of those brands, but uh, she's got Monkey Shoulder as one of her her main brands, and so she sits down, sets this bottle of Smoky Monkey down, which looks like Monkey Shoulder, but it's like a darker. darker yeah, yeah darker it label. looks cool. So she's like, I haven't even opened this yet. Like you and I are going to open this together because I've heard you've been kind of a jackass about it for a while. <laughs> she called you out. Yeah, pretty much. Nice. That's all right. You're right. I, I got to try it. So she poured it. We tried it, and I was like, "All right, well, what what makes it you know smoky?" And apparently, the the scotch, scotch that they're using oh, is uh, ah Matt. Cheers, you caught Matt. me without anything in my glass. I'm gonna look double. Thank you. Thank you. The uh, the scotch That's that awesome. they're using, the the malt that they're using to make it smoky, uh, is she hasn't figured it out completely. But judging by what they're using, she thinks it's Balbini Peat Week. That they're using to make it smoky. that would be badass. And but so, that's blended with others, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, basically, it's the original monkey shoulder blended with a little bit of that. Pete Wheat. Yeah. yeah. Well, and what's in the original monkey shoulder? What's the three? It's uh, Balvenie, Glen Kingshi, and oh, Drew know. knows the other one. It starts with a K. Yeah. It's not. It's not a popular one. But yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, it, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, it. It's not over the top, but it, it would be a, it'd be a great like mixing scotch, yep. honestly. Uh, but apparently we're not going to see it in the States, and since I found out that it's Pete Week that they're using, 
That explains why. They have a very limited quantity of that. You know, so even if they're just putting a little bit in, it's not going to make it that far. But I did get to try it. And you guys are going to get to try it in September. Why? Because she's setting that bottle aside, and she's going to... Uh, should I talk about the, the whole monkey shoulder thing? Oh, absolutely, doing? yeah. I, I don't absolutely. know if you guys have been online and seen... Monkey shoulder has this Give like a sample crazy... Bottle. It looks like a SMW, cement no. mixer truck, only SMW it's a cocktail SMW. mixer. That's the cement mixer part. All right? It, it's huge. Hey, it's like a semi. Right yeah. down and, there. They're, they're all uh, they over. drive it around the country, and it, it, distribute, it, it dispenses cocktails, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah. Well, it's going to be parked at my restaurant September 14th. We're going to have a big party in the parking lot. Uh, we're making three oh, three kegs of penicillin oh, to pour fantastic. out of the out of the semi trailer. And that's since it's a Thursday that they're going to be there, we're going to do our live show from the parking lot. Oh. And she's going to be with us, and you guys all get Smoky to taste Mon- Smoky Monkey while we're doing the show. We that are. It's yep. fire. She's saving the well, bottle just for it. that. So if you guys are going to be in Indianapolis in September. We're going to have a big party, apparently. And uh, we're going to do all Three kinds of scotch talk. of penicillin. Yep. Yeah. If you've never had a penicillin, you should come. I was like... <laughs> yeah, you need to go online and look, look at the monkey Clean shoulder Clean that right shaker. up. Yeah, the, the monkey... machine. It's yeah, just, yeah it, it's huge. It it's it's awesome. it's really cool, actually. Uh, it, it's got, like, this uh, kicking PA system on it. <laughs> of course and, it does. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it, it's a mobile party. But, yeah, we're going to have <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of fun, man. It'll be fun. Yeah. Um, uh, Steve, to to answer it well, because we're Scotch for dummies. <laughs> what? He asked why we don't review. Is there a reason why we don't review bourbons and rye? Oh well, the Scotch. That's test this guy's job. Scotch test dummies do, but we're different. Right. Um, yeah, drink them. Well, you know, we have a few of them around a campfire or something, but it's just not my gig. Well, the the key is so. There are so many scotches, we will never run out of scotch. Dustin. <laughs> Dustin. So wait, I owe it. I owe a sip for for the last one. Down in my belly. Mm-mm-mm. I owe one to Matt still, so. So, you know, honestly, when we first started doing this, we figured we'd run out of scotches in about 18 months, yeah. right? And we'd just move on to Surprise. something else. It's almost four years later, and we and still have like, Man, distillery. there's still distilleries that we haven't even hit yet. We were at Benny's. I, I was sending out emails today, and I'm like, man, I'm sorry. We haven't hit your distillery yet. We just haven't gotten to it yet. And so uh, we, we've crazy. got people sending us samples just to get to them. Right, it's not that and we I don't want like, to. All right, yeah, I mean, w- w- no disrespect, we just haven't hit you yet. Yeah. So, uh, and there's a bunch that I I wish we had tried more of. Yeah. Uh, like Springbank. Like yep. Springbank, yeah. But we're getting to we it. need to get into it. I mean, and that's a popular one that we haven't been into yet. Yeah. Imagine yeah. some of the ones that's that aren't, the aren't really known of, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I can't wait to get into some more of those space. They're really good. Uh, it yeah. is what it is. I mean, yeah. we're working she had through that them. one that looked like coffee. Yeah, Absolutely that wasn't. That's fantastic. not a spay. That was. was no. It's it's a it's a label that they produce. Yeah. Out of because the, the name of the distillery, which is kind of ironic. Ben Dub. Their distillery name is Speyside, which oh, I think yeah. is kind of confusing. Speyside Distillery. That's the name. Right. Of that's the name of the distillery. They produce yeah. Spay whiskey, um, and and Ben Dub. Right. B e i n. Did look Space, like coffee. D U B H. Like, and the weird thing is, it's like, real. oh yeah, it's chill filtered, it's colored, but it, why would you color something that's the color of coffee? Yeah, you I don't know. Know. they, they added some color. They didn't color it all the way. Yeah, it's yeah good. it was good. I mean, you're right. The Who thing knows? is, she's upfront about it. It's like, yeah, yeah, she was there. Got, it's forty three percent or forty forty three percent. It's got color in it, but taste it. And well, and she was upfront about it because she was very upfront about it on the flip side. Well, wait, there's no color. There She's like, this is it. And so and good for her. I, you also have to take into consideration where their market is. You know what I mean? Like, their primary market is not us. That's no, right. that's true. You're right. It's not. You know? So but that, I asked that her about the name of, of, of the distillery. Well. You know, because to me, naming your distillery after a region kind of gets a little confusing. Because when I hear Speyside, I think of that box up there. Yeah, and, you know, like there's half some, the Scotch and yeah. Scotland comes out of there. But technically, they are on the Spey River, mm-hmm. but they're at the head of it, which it's yeah. it, way down south because the river flows north up into the bay. So you know, they're on the river. They, you know, it's not misleading. It just kind of is a little bit weird because I can, you know. That word means we'll find out when we go. Damn right we will. (laughs) Damn right we will. Um, So, monkey shoulder. Looking forward to that. I'm excited about that now. Yep. Yes. 
So, so that's we're be a good time. smoky monkey. Yeah. The, so you guys get smoky. To, you guys get to try that. We're gonna have a good time that day. Of course. Uh, we're we're time, gonna do up some stuff. Time to open the box. Is it? You want to show this thing? You how are we get? We gotta clear this. Yeah. Clear so it. I out of needing something to drink, I grabbed a sample that I think KB sent me. This is a ten dot one two two, which is a nine year old at fifty nine point six percent. I believe ten dot. A uh, 10 distillery at SMWS is, I want to say, Boone Haven. I think you're right. If I had to take a guess, I'd say it's a Boone. Um, I could look it up, obviously. Anybody else can look it up on the internet. SMWS code 10 is whatever. Um, thank you, KB. That did come from you. <laughs> I don't think he's alive right now. He's been drinking pretty hard and heavy. Hey, wait a second. I, I, I was going to say, hey, guys. Uh, shout out to Mark for his extreme... John, I hope you enjoy those. Um, I just you've been with us for you know since we started three and yep. a half, almost four years. You, you've you've always been on Facebook and promoting us and, and, and throwing out uh, people towards our reviews. So I just want to throw you a couple of small samples from my bar. That's not from Scotch for Dubbins. That came from my bar, and I hope you enjoy them. I want to hear about them, so I want to see comments about them. I want to hear right, about them. Right. I mean, you got to you got to continue you gotta, the journey. You got to drink them, right? You got to drink them, and you got to further the conversation. But yep. um, that's what this is all about, you guys. So look, uh, you know, you there's drink. more that's come. It's about sharing, you know, sharing and talking. Show Charlie Murphy your scotch. Show Charlie Murphy your scotch. <laughs> all right, guys. So what are we getting ready to do? We're just going to take this. Out of that. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna move the mic. It's gonna make a little noise. I apologize for that, but I gotta move it back a little bit. That thing is stuck to it. It's been there for so long. All right, all right. Are you guys ready? So, look what. A couple we're... weeks ago, we really had a pretty major push for oh, something um, for our 200th review, and so we met that goal and then some. And uh, it's time to at least let you know that Bring something the camera, first, has made it to the bar. This way up. This way up. Is this as far as we're going with it? No. No. Okay. So can you guys see this box? The Fred Gile. No. <laughs> Fred Gile. Uh, it must out. be French. Look it's, at the it's not Italian, I can tell you that. So there's some... Um, I'll hold the box. Yeah, if you want to pull, pull from above. Holy yep. cow. Mac number six in La Leak. So this is what it looks like this when is you... a bottle. A <laughs> and this is a bottle. This is not a case of whiskey. This is one bottle. So thank you to everybody who donated in on this. I hope that uh, you're a lucky recipient of some uh, a sample of it. Um, we are going to do an official unboxing here. We're going to record it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a recording or if it's going to be a live. No, it's we're going to do a recording of the unboxing. unboxing, and then we're going to do a live of, of opening it so that we can do the drawings for, for yes. the samples that need to be given away. Reminder, there's going to be additional samples, a sample from you, 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 me, and Drew. So there'll be five more two-ounce samples poured from... And maybe one from Molly. Yeah, who knows? Molly could do that. Yeah, that'd be really cool. So there will be some Still additional dog, samples dog for, for drawings. Um, but we wanted to at least show you guys this much. There is a bottle in there somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> um, do, we, do we go another layer? Is this it? <laughs> no, this is as far as we go. Oh. The official boxing will be uh, recorded because uh, oh. we want to get a lot of good video of it. Um, I know that Eric Waite w would like some of that video because I do believe he was number two. He yep. was number two. So, which means he's guaranteed a sample, which means I think... Uh, he, he wants to do a review of it, so I don't blame him. I don't blame him either. I'd want to do a review of it as well. So, we want to make sure we get him some good content. Um, but that's what this thing looks like. I guess that's the biggest bottle of scotch we've One ever bottle? Bought. It's crazy. You have a it's, whole bottle in that one. Right. I, I mean, I'm really excited so to, to open this thing up. And right, here's so a bottle. Here's a bottle of scotch. Next I mean, to, actually, Matt, you could put this next to it because this is kind of yeah, yeah, somewhat that's similar. That's to similar the, in shape and yeah, size. Yeah. So there's there's what it would look like inside that. I mean, that's a damn big bottle. Well, it's in the elite crystal, so you gotta kind of pat it. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, guys, it's, it's gonna be interesting. I can't wait to see what it looks like when we buy. Tis in our possession. It is here. <laughs> it has landed. Yes, the bottle has so. landed. <laughs> what is that? Uh, so anyway, I'm I'm Damn. stoked. It's here, and we can Matt, actually. Matt McCain says I can't wait for Mark to say it smells like sulfur. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <so. laughs> I hope it doesn't yeah, disappoint man, anybody when right. I do. <laughs> 
I'll so, be shocked if it doesn't. It has to. It has to. Every okay. killing I've ever smelled, it smelled like tires to me. It will, but it, uh, the, <laughs> no, <laughs> not not the uh, not the ones that we've had from SMWS. I don't. I don't. Th- oh no, we we've never. Had a, we've uh, never had a McCallum from SMWS. So we've there. had one that you didn't think smelled like McCallum. I don't know where it. It, ha- it was an independent bottling of some from somebody. I, I Maybe the, it's this one. The Maybe key it we're going to have is we're going to. Pro- it may t- it may initially have some sulfur, but we need to give it a minute to let it let it air sit out. for about twenty. I feel like there's going to be a lot to this unboxing, right? Yes, it's well, like well, uh, said, I can't wait to video it. It's so like I'm a Fabergé you. egg, probably, right? There's another layer. By the, by the time yeah, we get it open, we're just going to be too pissed off to drink. So you're saying I can't get the box <laughs> knife out and just freaking <laughs> zip, zip, zip. <laughs> I would not bring a box knife to this. <laughs> My bad. Uh, <laughs> I'll bring a Samurai box sword and just cut off yeah. cut off slices until you get to it. it. You know, it, I'm excited about getting into this. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> we, we honestly, we're going to make it fun for everybody. I mean, we're, we're really trying to do that, and, and hopefully everybody enjoys the whole process. You guys get to be on the journey. Right. Yeah, I mean, you guys are a part of the journey, you, and that's what the whole 200 review is about. I mean, for the last three and a half, almost four almost years, three we've three been doing years. this, and the vast majority of you guys have been there with us, um, it's a big and, and we're having fun, so let's not stop now. But <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not just wide, it's, it's like deep. Like it's a big box. It's got a handle. I like I like how on the side it says one seven fifty milliliter. Yeah, that is six. It is forty three percent. It's not a case. Yeah, it's I one bottle. Were, I wish it were bottled at forty eight. But hey, we're gonna get into this bad boy and find out. That's for sure. I wonder if it comes in cases, <laughs> or if it's a, just a one a, a one deal, right? I don't you know. have to have a pallet of those boxes, huh? That's a big bottle, man. <laughs> uh, it is like the twisty ties on the action figures when you're a kid. This is going to be like open. And a Here's what's going to happen. We're going to start peeling this thing back, and we're going to start drinking, and, and we'll be popped by the time we get to the bottle inside. That's all right. We'll, we'll figure like, it like all out. Comment. Can you take the number six and introduce it to the Lincoln County process and charcoal that sulfur out of the whiskey? <laughs> yes. That's exactly uh, why they, uh, they I'm a, county it. I'm Rick, a, Richie's all about yeah. us unboxing it now. Yeah, right. Unboxing it. Like, well, we've all waited long yeah. enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think Drew would have a heart attack if we start opening it. So that's yeah. not going to happen. We're waiting with our boy Drew. See what's inside. I'm not going to take anything out. I just want to look through the look through Oh, the that's box. a dirty bit of cheat. Hey, man. Man. This microphone's stuck to it. Get your beaters off of that. What are you doing? That's part of the unboxing I'm process. assuming there's padding in there. And it's like Look peeking on guy. Christmas. What are you doing? I want to peel yeah. the corner. I just want to peel the corner. So let's talk about this. We will have a live show next Thursday, but we are yes. move, we are heading down to the Bourbon Trail on Friday. So I would, um, I would expect some patron lenses to go out next yep. weekend when we're doing that. We'll talk about it next Thursday. Should be back to the regular crew. Drew's on his way home here from vacation in the next day or two. Um, what do we have going out Monday? I'm not even quite sure. And there was one other thing I wanted to bring up about it, I, but I don't know if we've right now. I don't know if we've shot Monday yet. We are behind on reviews. Oh, uh, yeah, we, so we've got busy day. man, my liver's hurting. Ah, oh, Travis, now you come on. I was looking for Travis. He's been on. Has he? Yeah. He changed his picture. <laughs> I didn't recognize him. I looked. So, Travis Faircloth, I went, was looking for something to pour, and I wanted to drink these samples that you sent us like a millennium ago. I found him on the bar going, oh, my God, he probably thinks we're, we didn't care about him. It's not that at all. We just don't, we've got so many samples. So, Travis, I want to talk to you about when can I drink these. Do you want to drink it on a live show? The old Perth 12? I know you didn't care about doing a review of it. I want to drink it when you're around so we can talk about it. So, yeah, I mean, there's a couple. There's some some Travis review. Anyhow, I'll catch with you on Facebook, Travis, and we'll talk about it then. So, um, I think that's about it. Oh, I wanted to give Telex the mic. Telex, what's going on in T-minus five minutes on your show? Uh... Yeah, we shot Tamdu Batch 1. We did shoot Tamdu. Oh, yeah, yep. Tamdu Batch 1's. That that was the one that I liked the most out of. We should have some of that. Well, don't, don't. Hey, there's a great idea. Well, you want to have some Tamdu? we got to save some for the, the, the 1 through 4 flight, boys. Yeah, See you that's guys true. In a yeah, we can't have show. any of that. We'll I, do the Scapa Glen, uh, Glen Sa- and the Glen Ooh, Water. This is good. Eight. Have some of that. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Telex. Telex has got something lined up. Hmm. Put it in. 
Emerson, sorry. He's going to do a, a, a Scapa and a Glenmora. Glenmora 18, yeah. Glenmora. Scapa, I wish it. I wish mm-hmm. I liked Scapa. Mm-hmm. Look at Tra- Travis. Travis's that freaking Strathless 13 is very good. I didn't think he's going to send us something that wasn't. Travis, I don't think well, you've ever sent us anything that we would no, get kicked I out the door, right? Yeah. It's not sitting back there because we didn't want it. It's just a, it's getting a little backlogged back there. Mm-hmm. We, we we are backlogged. I, if we showed you behind the bar, <laughs> it's, it's kind of a mess. Hey, do you want to see Which is kind of hard to believe that we drink. We do drink this stuff, you guys. We kill bottles. We don't sit up. Oh, boy. We kill bottles like a John Wick yeah. movie. <laughs> so I'm anxious to see what Eric's getting into down in Texas. And I'll have to tune in and see what he films here in the next day or three. But um, Yeah, where is he going anyway? He's got to be going off. He said he was... He, Texas is big. Yeah. It's like saying you're flying to South America. <laughs> right? I mean, Texas is a big place. Speaking of South America, Scotch in the news, did you see that the Scotch malt, or what is it, the whiskey exchange? No, what is it? Where do you guys go when you're in Glasgow? We weren't in Glasgow. You mean in Edinburgh? Edinburgh. SMWS. Leaf. No, what, what the thing oh, the, the whiskey experience. The whiskey experience. Mm-hmm. The whiskey experience. So they, the whiskey experience is currently housing, and I'll get. we got a couple minutes left, so I want to get to the right website here and make sure. Hey, I got, Captain 3D. Got all the information right. That's all right, man. Better so, late than never. <laughs> all right. The Scotch Whiskey Experience has the Clave Videz collection. What's that? So I'm when you see. walk into Scotch Whiskey Experience, you see. Almost well, thirty four hundred bottles of scotch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there. That's Been there. one guy's collection. So there's wow. a, there's a collector in Brazil. What's his name? Bob. Uh, Clay oh. Videz. Oh. Or Vidiz. No, not so, KB. So KB he, drinks them. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. He was a collector from Brazil that that donated his collection. To this. Technically, Diageo owns it, but they just signed another lease for another ten years with the Scotch Whiskey, whiskey Experience to. Because what's Di- what's Diageo going to do with well, it? Well, exactly. And, and it's a 33,384 bottle collection. Worth? They don't say that. Yeah. I want to value it. 33,384. It's arguably the largest Scotch whiskey collection by a single owner, but there's some debate. Some people say more or less. Please but, tell me, but, dear Lord, he's not a bourbon drinker. But either way... <laughs> but either way <laughs> If they've, they've signed the lease for another 10 years, so if you ever get to Edinburgh and get to the Scotch Whiskey Experience, you can see this display. You've seen it. We've got our picture, and with yes. that as the backdrop, with Roy. Yes. That's where Drew and I and met Aquavite. Pretty extensive. I mean, well, it feels like the kind of place that you come up with like an Ocean's Eleven kind of experience, right? You know like, what? At the end of their experience, they've the got a pretty damn good the selection on their bar. They've got a bar at the end of the experience, and it's 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 got a pretty... Good menu to, to choose from. I mean, it's not thirty three hundred bottles, but it, I mean, I mean they're not going back there and getting your yeah, pour or whatever right. you like back there. Hey, could, can I go back through and pick that one <laughs> bottle I really want? Yeah, no, that ain't happening. That would be awesome. What else we got before we got to uh, see out? Bob? He's getting defensive. <laughs> Love you, Bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's like Bob. Um, so Bob's like a Scotch sanctuary at his yeah. house, right? As part of this press release. Diageo has also submitted plans to open a seven-story Johnny Walker experience in the city as part of its investment in... They better not have any damn white they, walkers. They, I was going to say they got like a white walker slide. Make you feel like a little queasy. <laughs> <laughs> Make you feel like you'll throw up. Story? <laughs> but not quite. <laughs> Yeah. Just make you feel violated and charge you thirty bucks for it. Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I feel dirty. Uh, right. <laughs> well, obviously, there's a ton of stuff going on, guys uh, and gals. If you haven't caught up with the uh, the Discord, it's still hopping as it always is. Um, what else is going on? Thanks to the super chats tonight, you guys. We really Absolutely. appreciate it. We always appreciate um, it. Bob, it was great seeing you last week, buddy. Uh, really appreciated the bottle you got us. Can't wait uh, to cross paths with you. You're coming out in May. Looking forward to it, buddy. Um, Alan, we will see you in eight days? Yeah. Seven days? Yeah. Uh, aside from that. Seven and a half days? Seven and a half. I'm off tomorrow, so I'm going to have another couple glasses. Telex, I'll see you on the after show in a little bit. We'll be on the Discord after show for a few minutes before we head on to Telex. Cheers. Slauching. Cheers. Slauching. Cheers. Thanks, everybody. See you next week. Wait a minute. you gotta, you got to keep talking. I haven't shut it down yet. <laughs>
I'm not a, a new guy. New guy. All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Boop.